Welcome everyone uh, to Code Slice. This will be a very short tutorial um, regarding the app uh, class. All right. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I appreciate the support. Um, yes. So if you have started diving into um, Kiwi, uh, it's very important for you to understand about the Kiwi uh, app class. Yes. So. Uh, the app class basically um, as you can see in the Kiwi documentation it is the base for creating uh, Kiwi applications so which means um, whatever app you will be creating you will need to actually use this app class uh, so whenever you're coding with Kiwi you will um, you will need to have uh, the, the app class so that you can actually be able to build uh, your application so how do you use this app class to build your um, your application um, so basically the app class let's just go here so the app the app class um, it creates an application using the built um, method basically yes so your app uh, your code will need to always have the the build uh, method if you want it to run uh, that's the one way of, of going about it uh, and that build method is in your app class so let's go on and actually um, create this so that we can actually see it in action so you'll have to have your class right your main app and then you can say app like this so what you are seeing here is the app class in action so we have created the app class and how do you see this is the app class in our brackets here we have the app here all right and within the app class there is a build method right there's a build method so which means you can just simply say build self to call that method basically yeah so there's a build uh, method yeah so I think there's also an example here that you are given um, as well in the documentation uh, so just to explain what happens here so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, creating a simple application with a button so before you create a button you will need to import a button and how do you go how do you do that from QV uix button import button all right so we are importing the button yeah so in order to now see the button we need to in our build method we can return button like this and in the bracket we can put text uh, there's many other things we can put in the bucket but for now um just focus on just the text okay um, yes and so what we've done now is we have our app class and our app class has a built function or method which we are now implementing to return a button all right and lastly you have to then run uh, the code and how do you do so you can use uh, if uh, name main all right like this here um, or you can just simplify it by saying main app dot run like this okay keep in mind that your main app is the same as your class your app class but the way your app class can be whatever name you want to give it so it's up to you right it's up to you what you want to um, name it so let's go on and run it now that we have our run method okay we're running it all right as you can see now our button right um, from our built method in our app class all right so you need 
the app class um, so you can avoid it <laughs> um, yes yeah there is however another method um, to be able to run uh, the code without using the built method here and um, how would you do that uh, you simply use the kv file now the kv file it's it allows you to um, to design your ui uh, interface quite easily uh, inter instead of you saying return button and all of this there's actually a simpler way of writing all of these things in the kv file i'll show you just now so the first thing is um, you can just create a new file um, you know new file or simply you can use control n which is my personal favorite as it saves time so control n now we've created a new file so this is going to be our kv file now when it comes to your kv file how you name it is very very important um, so number one you must always use lower case um, characters lower case characters all right number two it must be the name of it must be the same as your app class except the app part so if you look here i have main app so when i rename the kv file i will just say main i don't have to include the word app all right and also it has to be lowercase keep in mind that this can be anything um, as you can see in the documentation itself uh, you know they used test app all right so it can be anything you want okay so let's go let's go on and do that so file save as main and very important the extension has to be kv like this we're saving it so now we have successfully created a kv file all right so now instead of using the build method to create a button we will just remove that and say pass all right and we will rather put our button here now in the kv file the way you put the button it's actually much simpler you can just say button like this and then in the next line making sure that um, there's a bit of a space you can then say text and then you can put your text here hello world all right so before you run the code make sure you save it and usually if your file is not saved yet you can see with the asterisk there so let's Control S to save. Um, if you don't want to use Control S to save, you can save here. But I prefer the shortcuts. Now let's go on and run that. Running, running, running. All right, as you can see, uh, our app is running. All right, so that is how you use the app. Uh, glass yes all right i hope you look forward to the next tutorial uh, please do remember to subscribe and please do browse through the channel as well there's quite a few tutorials so far on kiwi if this uh, tutorial was too basic please do look at the previous uh, ones uh, there's quite a number of them um, to help you guys with your projects until next time um, take care.